Hello everybody and welcome back to the Science of Exercise. This video is going to be a kinesiological analysis of the barbell bench press. This is not your typical textbook version of a kinesiological analysis. It is not going to be exhaustive. This video will go over a barbell bench press setup and the muscles and joint actions involved. So without further ado, here is a non-textbook version kinesiological analysis. Up first, grip placement. Notice how the hands are directly outside of the shoulders and the hands are completely wrapped around the bar. Next are the five points of contact during the bench press. Both feet are planted directly underneath the knee, trying to generate force up into the bar using the lower torso. The glutes drive into the bench and continue to transfer force into the bar. The upper back is locked and pinned to the bench to create upper torso rigidity. The head remains on the bench to maintain spinal position during the bench press. Now we're gonna look at the main muscles involved during the barbell bench press. Pec major helps adduct the arm during the lowering phase. And during the concentric phase, it helps horizontally adduct. Pec major helps promote humeral flexion during the concentric phase of the bench press. Pec major helps also internally rotate the humerus during the bench press. Clavicular head of the deltoids, or the anterior delt, is also a prime mover during the barbell bench press. It helps internally rotate the shoulder and horizontally adduct the shoulder during the concentric phase. The anterior deltoid, along with the coracobrachialis, help promote flexion of the humerus during the bench press. Now we're going to see the role of the rotator cuff during the bench press. Terry's minor is an external rotator of the shoulder. Infraspinatus is also an external rotator of the shoulder. Supraspinatus promotes abduction of the shoulder. Subscapularis creates medial rotation. Latissimus dorsi and teres major assist in adduction of the humerus and internal or medial rotation of the humerus. The main takeaway is to see how many muscles promote internal rotation and how few promote external rotation and help stabilize that shoulder. It is super important to make sure that during the bench press we maintain proper form so that function can follow. And lastly the triceps which help promote extension of the elbow which have a long head, a lateral head, and a medial head. Medial is shown underneath. Oh, and Anconius. Anconius is also a small extensor of the elbow. But here are a few mistakes I made during bench pressing. On this lowering phase, you can see I bounced the bar off my chest and didn't decelerate properly. Here my legs are extended, my feet are not underneath my knees driving into the ground using my lower torso. So here I'm trying to compensate and increase my range of motion by bringing my head up, which can lead to neck strains. So how was it? Did you enjoy the video? If so, let me know in the comments section. Tell me what you did or didn't like. I'm okay with either or. I wanna make changes so that these videos are better for you guys, my viewers. Without your feedback, I'm just gonna keep running these videos in all sorts of directions, whatever I think's cool at the moment. But if you give me some feedback, I promise I can start to try to hone these videos into some of the things that you're interested in. So until next time, I am Tyler Hosey, and this is The Science of Exercise. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and like.